Matt Minton, do you want to kick things off, or did I get you? Oh, no. Okay. Um, pencils down, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it is demo time. We have reached that time of IndieBug Camp, and it is, uh, uh, thanks for sticking with it, and uh, being here at the end today. So, uh, this is going to work much like the morning intros yesterday. Come up here, introduce yourself with your name, your domain name, and uh, just talk a little bit about what you got done over the course of today. And um, yeah, a lot of posts over there got knocked off the list, so that's pretty awesome. Do we have internet? We do have internet. Okay. Who would like to start? I can start. I'm up here. I guess we can just knock, get that out of the way. Um, all right. Let me get rid of the overlays. Hi, I am Aaron Parecki. My website is AaronPK.com. And my website got a little bit better today. Uh, so I did a couple of like under the hood things that I can talk about briefly first. I, um, I did in fact push the fix for Aperture that I was talking about. And then I realized that I actually can't test it until I wait a while until some of the feeds like keep getting fetched and parsed. So I'm gonna have to finish the rest of that later, but it is, half working, half of it is confirmed working, the rest is probably working and I can't test it for like probably another week or so. Um, I also made some updates to Monocle based on working with you all here and uh, I think I'm not gonna show those off because they'll come up here in other demos, um, but that was, that was some, it's good to get those changes done as well. Um, the, uh, Exciting thing that I got done is I did in fact update my profile picture. Yay. And if I, yeah, there it is. It's my new picture, but there's one more thing, <laughs> which is, um, so I often use emoji in, in posts. And for a while I've had this page, which lists out my most commonly used emoji. In order? In order of frequency, nice. uh, which I'm very pleased with. Uh, it's fun. And if you click on them, you will see posts that use that emoji. It's like a tag. It's like a tag. Cool. But it's an emoji. Uh, so <laughs> I had this fun idea, which is that I wanted my picture to change depending on what emoji I use in the post. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I use a crying face emoji, that is my profile picture. If I use a beer emoji, that's my profile picture. <laughs> if I use the uh, grimacing face emoji, then I'm making a grimacing face. Surprise face. Uh, so, <laughs> what's the pizza one? What is the, what's the pizza one? <laughs> I saw a pizza photo yesterday. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes. Or this morning. I guess that was this morning. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm very excited about this. Unreasonably excited about it. Um, what other ones I have? So you basically brought back to live journal. There's a, uh, yeah, there's a martini, there's a bicycle helmet, there's a heart eyes. When did you make all of these photos? That's an excellent question. I <laughs> did this on, right before I left, left for this trip on Sunday, last week. Sunday night, I was like, I'm leaving in the morning, but I need a bunch of photos for this weekend. Time to do a photo shoot. And I had to go and buy pizza 
at the pizza store downstairs and make myself a cocktail <laughs> and pour myself a glass of beer. It's amazing. And uh, that was an enjoyable several hours. I will leave that as an exercise for the reader. <laughs> Actually, no, so the other, the other cool thing about this is um, if I go and log in, um, somewhere in here I have a secret login link, um, I can show you how I set it up, which is actually, I was like, do I just like manually hack this in or do I make this a little bit easier for myself in the future to configure this stuff? And I decided to go for the real, the stretch goal of like, let me give myself an actual interface to this. So in my settings, there's an emoji page, and I have all my files on the disk, and then it lets me map emoji to the pictures. So I can be like, Double mapping, I like it. so I can just oh, I two emojis. Yeah, yeah. type in emoji, and, it, and then yeah, more than, or more than one map to, it, to one. So Sweet. these are all my... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, you actually have a clinking glass. Who clinked a beer with you? Myself. <laughs> one picture this way, and then one picture that way. <laughs> and then Photoshop it together. That one took the longest. Uh, and then I have the sound as a reference for myself, so I can, like, which ones do I use? I should go fill them in. Uh, cool. So. This is definitely something you can't do with Twitter. Definitely cannot do this with Twitter. Uh, or, as far as I know, anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the cool part is that uh, if you are following my blog, and uh, like from the Microformats feed, you will get these pictures because they're on my site. So I don't know if any of my recent notes have them, but as soon as uh, I use an emoji in a post, yeah, on my first page too, then um, if you're following this page, like the the, the picture is the photo and it will show up in the feed reader. So it should just work for everybody without them knowing that they have to support it, which is cool. Question? Oh, I just, um, like, wow, I had a similar idea that, um, like, Microsoft Word is a lot easier to use than Sentinel Analysis. Mm. And Definitely. It's disconcerting when there's like a grinning face and then like a really sad post. Yeah. So uh, this was my cheap version of sentiment analysis. It's like, oh, I use emoji all the time in posts. So let me just use that because that's more accurate than trying to analyze text. So yeah, cool. All right, I'm done. That's my demo. Um, I will leave this laptop up here. If you can demo on this laptop, please do. It will save a lot of time. You just go in order, so you don't have to like guess who's going next. Sure. Contact, go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on here now, sorry. Right. Don't want to do this. Sign record if you don't have an answer today. And I might as well go for. The one that I tested and it worked, contactcholic.com. I migrated um, my Amazon URL shortener because I have like long Amazon URLs. And it's called asin.cc. Um, and let's see, for the one that I couldn't tell if it migrated, which I probably should find out soon because otherwise it's going to break people's sites. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is H2VX. This is a very old microformats conversion service that's still running and that people still use to download their vCards and iCalendars. And so if you go to like the contacts conversion service, come on. Factory guess, yeah. 
I mean, is anyone else able to load h2vx.com over HTTPS? Okay. All right, well. Who got a certificate error? So that may be that you're getting like old DNS. But how is he getting old DNS if I just loaded it with like new DNS? But it's unlikely he visited that before. So it should have been just as fresh as this. DNS is magic. It did just get bad. Okay. All right. Everyone, my name is Raina Harris, and I accomplished many really tiny things on my website. So it's Raina M. No longer at GitHub. So RainaMHarris.com. One of the amazing things about GitHub is that it's free. So I've had this site for I don't know three or four or five years, and it's always been free. But I finally made a custom domain. So what I did, a few things that I did, I added a photo and it has an H card, which I didn't even know what that meant. Uh, beforehand, this footer, it's kind of um, a light font, but there's a small footer down here that says um, this theme is an HTML5 theme, so it gives credit to the person who designed this theme. Um, it's a Jekyll integration for GitHub pages, and then there's a link to the source code. This footer was only working on one of my pages, and I fixed that, so now it works across all of them. Uh, I played with some of the CSS themes. I before was really unhappy with the size of the font of the H1 and H2 and H3s, but I'm happier with them. And then this, I think the blog is probably the thing that I did the most work on. So just a little tiny bit of formatting. I wrote a blog yesterday. Uh, someone here, John, gave a little talk about using this tool. I don't know how you pronounce it. To do a screen share. So when, normally when you do a screen share of yourself live coding, it's a video. Um, but this tool lets you do a text-based screen share. So it looks like a video, but it's actually text and it's copy and pasteable and findable and searchable. So but if we look at this, um, some more CSS style things, I changed the color of my hyperlinks. But down here, uh, I used the Indie Web Camp Wiki and I looked for other people that were doing using <coughs> Jekyll and I found someone who had some really cool, plugin is the wrong word, um, but I, I copied and modified some code to quickly link to Twitter. So if you click share on Twitter, ba bam, there's the name of the post, there's the link to the post, and there's my name so they can reference me if they retweet it. The, uh, they can simply just send me a message if they want, um, copy the permalink, and then uh, Discus was something that I had the code in there, but it was not working, and so I fixed my Discus code. Um, so I'm still using another provider, maybe one day I won't, uh, but I think that's cool for now. And again, this footer is back. Yay. Okay, so those are my many, many small updates. Hi everybody, I'm Gregor, and one of my projects today was to write 
stuff, and I wrote stuff about this very demo. Um, the second part of my project actually was working on a CSS grid photo gallery. And so I did, worked on this mock-up with a lot of help from an article by Michelle Barker. And I'm not going to demo this part because I don't know Mac very well. I don't want to mess up the browser. But this is responsive. So basically, this is four columns. Uh, the first photo there is spanning two of them. And when you get down to about 600 pixels, it collapses to two, co to two grid columns. And it maintains a whole aspect ratio. So basically, these three photos here will just fall underneath that. So um, yeah, and I wrote more about it on my blog. So if you want to read it, there it is. And it's on Indie News, too. I'm David Millar, and my uh, primary domain is davegoesthedistance.com. Um, today I worked on uh, not just having my web projects, but also adding books that I've written and uh, other projects I've worked on to my site. Um, and I have those marked up with uh, product microformats now, so that the information about them uh, is available in the publishers. Um, and brands that are associated with that. And then I also started adding um, a list of friends at the bottom and marking that up with some of the um, uh, XML friends network um, relation links um, so that that can facilitate um, kind of discovery of friends and such. Um, and then also, I don't have it quite ready to demo, but on my other site, The Griddle, um, I started uh, fixing a lot of the microformats that were in microformats one format and converting it to two and fixing other little bugs with that. And um, I'm going to be having that uh, probably ready to go within the next week or so. doing stuff locally on my computer, so I'm not going to hook it up to um, waste too much time. But um, basically, I wanted to be able to authenticate to my site without going out to IndieAuth.com. So I started on a little plugin because I have a local um, version of uh, IndiePub.rocks running on my computer so I can test integrations and stuff. So basically, if I sign in, uh, it'll send me over to my own website to authorize now and tell me the scope that it's asking for and then if I uh, kick back out uh, it will send me to the test, the test suite so I can test uh, my MicroPub integration. So uh, it's a lot to bite off and because uh, I'm just learning like plugin development and PHP and all this stuff all at once but got some If I have enough juice to do this. So should I change the resolution? That's 1080i. It's cool? All right. I'll go with it. All right. So, hey, I, I'm Isaiah. Um, I'm uh, Isaiah on Twitter. It's I-S-A-I-A-H. I'm Isaiah on Instagram. I'm Isaiah on micro.blog. It's an easy one to get. Um, so I'm Isaiah.micro.blog. Sometimes I blog about... Uh, 
my, my development and what I'm working on uh, today is um, uh, a client for micro.blog. So um, yeah, so I like to write um, social clients. This one's called Kiwi. Um, I just thought I'd show you the, the sign-in uh, mechanism here. So get a nice little thing. The, there's a, a, a sort of developer uh, variant of the sign-in that lets you uh, sign in just with a token. And I have it right there. So easy peasy. Um, hopefully, yep. Um, so this is a, just another client. And you know it's a lot like the built-in client, but uh, yeah, it has my, my flavors for it. So it has a nice narrow view. So if you go down, you get, um, yeah, a little bit different. It looks a little bit more like an old school Twitter client, I think. Um, and uh, the thing that I was working on today is uh, just a really simple kind of uh, tweak because micro.blog allows you to post any sorts of pictures or any sorts of things. Um, and I was trying to find some pictures here. Go Boy, there What's that? Go to your regular oh, I'm on mentions. Oh, thank you. Okay. So uh, it allows you to post any sorts of pictures. So sometimes you get some big pictures, sometimes you get some little pictures, and they don't necessarily fit. So here's a good example. Uh, these kind of like scroll, and you can get pages and pages of pictures. So what I was doing is basically um, building out this system that can uh, slurp up the HTML, kind of scrape it, uh, rip it apart, and smash it back together any way that I, I want. Um, I don't have it completely filled out today, but um, I got a long way I, um, so that I can at least, uh, yeah, remangle these pictures in, in a more, um, yeah, hopefully, smaller bite-sized pieces. Um, so that's all I worked on today. Um, but yeah, uh, go check out my blog. Hopefully sometime I'll have this thing for download someday. Uh, it, it, it won't be long. All right, that's it. How come responsive photos is so hard? Like, what, how come? Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just get so frustrated. You think it would just work well, but it doesn't. Like, why haven't we solved this problem yet? You know, I mean, really, it's not too hard, but the, the challenge is that people post them in all sorts of different ways from all sorts of different devices. And yeah, there's no like standard way to like go find all of the pictures of each post in like, a blog or on a blog. Use this right, Shimmer. Hello, I'm Manton Reese, and I um Um, I worked on um, a couple things today. There was a session yesterday about um, link rot and archiving, and it reminded me that I had really wanted to work on export and import for micro.blog more than we have now, specifically a new format that is better to take all your blog posts and all your photos and move them somewhere else and encourage people to maybe adopt the format or at least give feedback on it. I called it uh, blog archive and .bar is the, uh, <laughs> the extension, but it's really a zip file. So the, what I, I didn't 
totally finished what I wanted to do, but basically what I added to micro.blog is a way to um, export your blog in this format and it uploads it to S3 so that there'll be a URL temporarily that you can download because I, I expected the files were gonna be a little bit big. Unfortunately, there's a bug and um, this file is not a little bit big, but I'll show you um, what it looks like. So it, it's actually just a zip file, so I can rename it and just open it as a folder. Um, and there's two files, index.html, a JSON feed, and then this is where the bug was. I accidentally didn't zip the photos, but they would go in the uploads folder organized by date. Um, the idea, so this, the, uh, the HTML file is three meg for my blog, and it's basically just every post on my site in just a really plain format, but with micro formats. Um, so the JSON feed is there if you just want to parse JSON, but if you can read micro formats, then you can use that. The image doesn't show up. What I do is I updated, so all the posts are updated with relative paths for that uploads folder. So uh, pull that far back. Um, it also, Aaron made a change for hiding buttons that don't make sense for that particular service. So the favorite button doesn't really match micro.blog, so that's hidden. I also, as part of this, added in reply to support to micro.blog, finally. Um, so it will show the reply button. And if I type something here and hit reply, it will go to micro.blog as a reply and it'll chain it into the conversation. So this is, um, I've been wanting to do this for, since Microsoft, you know, a year ago and finally had a chance to work on it. And so, yeah, there's a couple things still to do, but pretty happy to, to get it done and see where it goes. Thanks. Is the audio hooked up to these? Uh, in it, the room? Yeah, it's okay if it's not. I don't think we do. They both are the screen. Um, can you switch to 1080 though? Switch oh, oh, how do I do that? Uh, just uh, settings. 